after that is when the running of things can take place. So my job is not to run the car because I am here just to run the thing. Someone else might have run. Thank you. Thank you. So here we have the two boys and the boys and the kids. Yeah, my thing has been wired. So this is the uh, capacity building training on competence-based approach in TVET. And um, the idea is to support uh, teachers' practice. Not all instructors in TVET, you know, like you can see, the training currently ongoing. Not, mo most of them don't have the teaching practice experience. Some of them probably study technical activities or courses in school. So the idea of the training is to help them understand better uh, the methodology and pedagogy approaches in you know, teaching and uh, technical courses. And also for them to be able to design uh, pedagogy objectives to support evaluation when even it comes to assigning tasks or designing instruction for students. So the process of organizing this training, what we first did was conducted an assessment of the TVET centers to identify the training gaps. And one of the gaps we identify is uh, a little or no knowledge when it comes to competency-based approach in learning and assessments. So then what we did was also identify subject matter expertise that would deliver this training. My name is Moshud Akomola Feola Emi and I'm happy to be part of this training. I've been a lot, I've gained a lot of experience in this training on how to be firm on what I'm, on what I'm doing. I'm very happy a lot to be part of this training and I hope that I can achieve and gain more, more, more experience from this training. In the nearest future, what I'm planning to do is achieve big and try and train more people, try and train more students. Well, I'm happy to be in this program because so far I've really learned a lot and one of the things I've learned is um, competency. Now, um, before now I used to believe that competency is just um, a vague word but I've been able to um, handle it in the sense that I've been able to see that there are three keywords that makes up competency and that is knowledge, skill, and um, attitude. Now the acquisition of knowledge should be translated into skill and also should transition into attitude in every every um, profession or vocation. So beyond just um, being in the four walls of a classroom or as an instructor, or um, it can also be applied to everyday um, job, everyday job. Also, I learned that attitude can be um, can be transferred. Yes, attitude can be transferred to um, a learner or um, even um, to staff, to employees. If you are an employer, it can be transferred. Having gathered all this um, knowledge now, um, I've been able to see that it's something I can apply even to my own job and the future, for the future, yes. Be it business, be it in the corporate world, or even in the educational system, yes, I can be able to apply what I've learned here. We have the training which is going on, supported and sponsored by VIS, VIS. It is what we call train of the trainers, to help trainers get involved in recent technology. VIS has done well, you know, to bring these trainings. Because now going on, trainers are brought together to put them abreast with recent happening, especially in the technology of the whole world. It is about curriculum development. It is about needs assessment. It is about promoting pedagogical skills in these trainers. It's about competence-based approach. And in all, it is for them to know the requirements of the labor market. So that you, just, you don't just train people and throw them out there without the required competence. What we are doing, what the training is doing, is to equip these young people with labor market requirements.